everyone, welcome to the start of a new vlog here in very, very sunny Spain today. I have some exciting news from the Spanish lockdown, and that is that from tomorrow, I'm pretty sure, adults are going to be allowed to go out for walks, like just like being out for exercise, which hasn't been a thing that's been allowed for the past, oh, I don't know, seven, eight weeks, however long this lockdown's been. Um, Recently, they sort of loosened it for kids so that they could get out and about and like, you know, blow off steam because I'm sure a lot of parents were going nuts um, trying to, you know, entertain their kids inside apartments. Um, but now, adults are allowed out for walks too. I'm very excited. I'm planning on going for a nice long walk down the Jardines del Turia. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Please don't make fun of my pronunciation. Um, this weekend, which is like a sunken park that runs through the city that used to be a river running through. And they like drained it or blocked it off or whatever. And now it's a beautiful park, which is where I love to go walk. And yeah, it is calling my name. I'm very excited. I'm structuring my day a little bit differently today. I did my workout um, earlier in the morning rather than doing it around noon, which is my usual. I don't know why, just, just felt like it today. Um, but I did my usual catch up. It didn't take long this morning because I was actually online until probably like, I don't know, quarter past 10 last night. I appeared on the Future Belongs to Creators podcast, which is a live streamed daily show that Nathan and Barrett, our CEO and COO, that's hard to say, um, started when this whole like pandemic sort of started. It's a way to sort of channel some anxious energy into creating. And yeah, they've been making amazing episodes and keeping up with the schedule, which is super impressive. Um, and I was a guest last night on the live stream, which was really fun. We talked about getting hate and unwanted attention as a creator, as a female creator in particular. Um, and it was a really good conversation. I was happy to, you know, have, have the space to talk about it. Um, so if you want to watch the replay of that, then I will leave a link to it on a card and also in the description. Before we get further into today's vlog though, um, I have some exciting news and to like show you it, I'm going to roll my intro. Did you notice the little Powered by Figma? That's new. It's very exciting. This channel is now sponsored by Figma. They've come on board to partner with me in making my videos and um, basically just be there to support kind of like a patron would. Usually when a YouTuber does a sponsored video, it's kind of like the brand pays for you to promote them and you have a key message to communicate and like the whole video is um, about the brand and they sign it off, that sort of thing. Uh, that's not what's happening here. Figma just want to support my channel and want to partner with me on it because they like what I'm doing here, which is great. Um, I still have complete creative control over how many videos I make, what I make videos about, what I say in those videos. They're not signing them off or anything like that. They're just uh, happy to be here supporting. So that's wonderful. I really appreciate it. And I think it's a perfect fit because I use Figma pretty much every single day for both my work and my side hustles. If you haven't heard me talk about it before, it's my design tool of choice. So it's what I use to design any website that I work on to create any sort of digital graphic um, that I'm that I'm working on. Figma is what I use for that. So it's a great fit. I'm really excited to have them as a sponsor and I hope that you're excited about that too. I'm so happy that they wanted to come on board and support in this way because I much prefer it to, you know, doing a one-off sponsorship here and there. It's just nice to have a brand that I know I'm going to be partnered with. We're both aligned in our missions and, you know, in supporting designers in this case. And uh, yeah, it's very exciting. So huge thank you to Figma. Let's just give them a round of applause for um, choosing to support a creator in this way. And if you've not tried Figma yet, then there will always be a link now in the description of my videos for the duration of our partnership. So if you can always head down there and, and try it out. I'm speaking of Figma today. I think the main thing I'll be showing you in this video is um, preparing the homepage for development. This homepage that I've been talking about in vlogs for like, I feel like the whole of this lockdown vlog series um, is finally a finish the design. I'm gonna say finish because I don't know inevitably next week I might think about something and like want to tweak it a little bit I don't know, but I'm gonna try and say that it's finished now um, So I've got to prepare the files make sure everything is like Documented that needs to be turned over to Cory to export all the assets and so yeah I'll show you my like process. So I guess let's get on to doing that with some coffee Let's get the workday started. Also, I feel the need to confess that this is uh, an espresso lungo. Um, sorry to all the coffee snobs out there. I, I usually am a person who grinds my own beans and makes my AeroPress, but some days you just want to like put a thing in a machine and, and let the machine make the coffee for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
So one thing that I'm doing as I'm going through and um, getting this homepage ready for build, now is when I start to take a look at all of the assets that I've created for the page um, and like perfect them in a way. Um, I don't like care about being pixel perfect at all when I'm designing, but when I'm exporting an asset, when it's the final thing that's gonna be uploaded to the site, that is when I wanna make sure I get it right. So for example, um, by the way, this is the homepage. Let me turn guides off and show you. This is the design I've got so far. So this right here is actually gonna be the animation um, that you saw me create a few vlogs ago. That's gonna go in here. Um, where it's like a blob and then morphs into a landing page. I don't know, you can go back and watch that if you're interested. Um, then we come down the page and we're featuring a few creators. There's a, like a tiny little case study about them and a little quote from them and we're also showcasing one of their landing pages for each creator, which is cool. Then there's this section here, which talks about our product. Um, I think it was the last vlog that I was working on this. This is what I've settled on is having them with a little blob background instead of the rectangle that I think you saw in that video. And then we come into this call to action. It shows a hint of our landing page template gallery, which I really like because it's sort of like foreshadowing what you'll see once you click on this button here and um, go like into our call to action. Um, and then here we just have like some of the latest content. So this, the purpose of this is to be automatically updated whenever there's a new guide, a new workshop, a new tip video, whatever. Um, so yeah, this is what we've got for the homepage. And I also took the time to update the footer as well. because we've got this beautiful graphic now. Um, oops, I just realized my artboard is cutting this off. But yeah, um, I wanted to include this in our footer. So I just did a bit of rearranging, some new information architecture there. And then I also have it laid out. I tend to hand over three breakpoints. So this is like desktop view, um, vertical iPad view and then mobile view. So anyway, that's a look at um, what our homepage is doing. And right now I'm just uh, going through and perfecting details. I've talked to Corey about how he wants to handle these assets. He thinks he's gonna put a JPEG in like an SVG frame. And so I've, these are the JPEGs at the side here that I've exported for him. Um, and I'm just coming in and fixing up these little landing page bits because like this one is, 310 high and 224 pixels wide, but this one is 308 wide and 230 high. So I want to get them, um, I don't know, you know, as I was designing, I just sort of uh, placed it by eye. And obviously my eye is not pixel perfect. Um, and so I want to get these a little more accurate. I always export everything um, just using the little export thing here in Figma as well. Um, I exported it as at 2x because I like to make things good for a retina screen but then I use a tool called image optim to compress everything so that's what I'll be doing is tidying these up exporting and then compressing them in image optim so we get the file size as small as possible without losing too much quality eating my lunch outside because it is a beautiful blue sky sunny day today now i'm having a second coffee for the day i don't always do this but um some days i'm just feeling really tired i want to pick me up for the afternoon to help me keep powering through wow someone's having fun outside okay let me show you my handover to corey for the home page um just to get an idea of what i do for that can you hear that helicopter in the background they fly around and sometimes there's like a message playing over a loudspeaker which I can't really understand because it's in Spanish and it's like, you know, garbled by being over a megaphone. Um, but apparently they're like warning people to stay apart. I don't know, it's been happening a lot. Um, let's go into GitHub. So for every time that I do a handover to Corey for a project, um, when it's a, like a big one like this and it's not just like a small fix on the site or whatever, um, I create an issue in GitHub for it. So here's what we've got. In the issue, I've put a link to the Figma file, a link to the folder in Dropbox where I've exported the assets and then made a couple of notes about things to watch out for here and um, 
Also some things that I'm like, I'm anticipating this taking a longer time so we could possibly do this build in two phases, you know. Over in Figma though, um, so in my file, it's kind of weird that I'm doing this holding my vlog camera up to the screen, but hey, this is a vlog, this is what we got. <laughs> um, I have these uh, pages in every design project that I do, where first of all I'm working through the wireframes of a project to figure out the basic structure of the page, then I move on to doing the actual design, and wow, there was a lot of versions. <laughs> for um, this particular project. And then because like hand and Cory this is a nightmare, but I don't want to get rid of all this stuff. There's some good ideas explored in some of these um, past versions um, that I want to make sure we we're keeping. I don't know, I just never want to delete all my working files. Um, so I make a separate page called to build where I just put the very final version. So this is the home page on desktop, the tablet size breakpoint and mobile breakpoint mocked up so Corey can see what I'm thinking will shift at each point. Um, and then if I turn on comments, I've left a bunch of comments in here too about various things that he should note, um, stuff about the sizing of the images. Then to the side here I've got the SVG shapes that he'll need to put these JPEGs into the frame. Our next step will be to have a meeting to go over this. We don't like necessarily do a project kickoff meeting for every every project, but um, this is a pretty big one, so it warrants, warrants, warrants some time. We have a standing meetings on our calendar, one at the start of the week, which is like a quick check-in of what we're gonna do for the week, and then one usually on Fridays, which is a longer meeting where we can dive into project details, um, doing a review, talking about plans, or in this case, going over um, a new build and pointing out things that he needs to be aware of. He can ask me any questions about functionality, things like that. We've shifted back to next Monday though, so that won't actually happen today. But I'm all ready for it when it does happen. It feels really good to finally be at this stage with the homepage. I'm really proud of it. I think it's going to be a little different to a lot of other SaaS company homepages, which is like not always like my main goal or anything. I, don't, I think that sometimes designs end up looking very similar for a reason and that's because that particular structure is like a good design and it functions well and it gets the information across well. That's why we often end up with big photo headers and things like that because it's like impactful when you first come to the site. But I'm excited to be trying something new with this. Um, I feel like it's a good like move forward for our brand and definitely a good move forward for my skills too with the work that I did to create the animation that's gonna go on this page. So yeah, feeling good about it, even though this project like has taken way longer than it should have, likely due to my general brain fog and like, you know, the lack of inspiration brought on by the quarantine. So I guess that's why it feels extra good to be at this point of this project compared to um, any other that I've had recently. This was my main work for the day, but um, now I'm gonna move on to uh, just doing a few bits and pieces to close the week out on a good note. I've been writing an article for our blog, and you make some edits to that. Um, been working on new template gallery for uh, the marketing site, show, showcasing all our landing page templates. So I guess I'm gonna just like dive in and try and keep this like accomplished feeling going. five o'clock and I'm done with work for the day and so my first priority right now is beer. Uh, Mark and I did an order from All Hops which is our favorite bar here in Valencia um, and ordered a bunch of craft beers. This is a sour cherry so I'm gonna crack into this maybe sit outside and play a little Animal Crossing. Seems like a good way to end off a work day on a Friday. I'm gonna end the vlog here for today. Thank you for watching it. I hope you enjoyed seeing um, that finished homepage and what I do to prepare a design to be developed and hand it off to Corey. I am excited for the weekend. I feel like I'm in need of some good 
R&R &R time, um, you know, just some more sleep, that's for sure. I feel very tired today and a lot more time playing Animal Crossing as well. That's my plan for the weekend. As well as editing this vlog. I want to say a huge thank you again to Figma for coming in as a partner on my YouTube channel. I'm just very grateful for that and excited to be working with them. So, yeah. Thank you for watching as well. I always appreciate your support. It um, means a lot to me to get to get comments and to just have you watching and, um, you know, hanging out with me in these vlogs, you know. So thank you for being here. Hope you have a good weekend too. Do something creative, do something relaxing, whatever, whatever you want to fill that time with. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.